Well, uh, Governor Abbott says Texas will eliminate all rapists so a woman does not have to carry the attacker's baby. Shannon here with more on his statement and the reaction. There is a lot of reaction to this, as we've seen, as we've been reporting on this over the last few days. The new restrictions on abortion, as we've been reporting, do not include exceptions for rape or incest. So when asked why a victim would be forced to carry the baby to term, the governor had this to say. It doesn't require that at all because obviously uh, it provides uh, at least six weeks uh, for a person uh, to be able to uh, get an abortion. Goal number one in the state of Texas is to eliminate rape so that no woman, no person, will be a victim of rape. Abbott signed Senate Bill 8 into law last week. It allows almost any private citizen to sue abortion providers or anyone who helps a person to get an abortion once a doctor is able to detect a heartbeat, which is usually between five and six weeks of gestation. Laura Palumbo with the National Sexual Violence Resource Center says for rape and incest victims especially, that may not be enough time. It takes survivors of sexual assault a lot of um, a lot of time, a lot of time to disclose, a lot of time to um, to come to terms with um, their um, their experience, and even to recall the full details of their experience. And so, um, it is it, it is it is likely that a survivor um, may uh, you know may not be immediately aware of a pregnancy, or may just need time to make that decision. Well, this week, the U.S. Attorney General vowed to preserve access to abortions and said the Justice Department is urgently exploring options to challenge SB 8. And the governor added he will continue to support organizations that provide support to rape survivors. However, the National Sexual Violence Resource Center says one of the best ways to help a survivor is to allow them to make their own decisions to address their trauma. Tim, uh, again, a lot of people reacting to this, other right. lawmakers saying it's disgusting, the, the comments the governor made, and of course people um, pushing back and trying to help women uh, achieve some access to abortions if needed. Hey, yeah, I mean, we haven't succeeded so far. It was just pointed out to me this morning that there are thousands of untested rape kits in the state of Texas, right. so we haven't eliminated rape. You can tell it to Tim, 214-468-7447, Friday the day, or tell it to Tim.